Well, I accidentally ended the video that I was making because I accidentally hit the... There's a switch on the back of my camera that goes from, you know, camera to uh, the settings mode. And uh, it also goes to... That's how you get into the picture mode on my camera. Um, I accidentally hit it whenever I picked it up. I do that this shit probably every time I pick my camera up. Um, so I gotta start watching that because that, that really sucks. I really didn't want to end that video without saying, you know, goodnight or goodbye or whatever. Um, but anyways, like I was saying... Before I realized that it wasn't recording, I really wish that this would have uh, moved, you know, to add a little bit of extra, like I know what the hell is going on and stuff, but it didn't. It, it did seem kind of weird that. Um, ah. Every time I put the, um, uh, the phone next to the, uh, Ouija board, it did seem kind of weird that the, the little magnometer thing or the proximity meter went up. Um, that was kind of cool. That I don't understand why it was doing that. Um, because um, I there is technically a power source. There is an outlet actually right there, like literally behind the camera. And the mirror is literally facing in front of me. There's there's nothing behind there to cause that to to rise. Um, I was a I was a maintenance guy for ten years. I did all sorts of electricity stuff, and a proximity tester. You literally have to be within. You you have to be within like half the time if it's especially low voltage. I mean, literally going in in this room, it's it's only uh um uh what is it one eighty or something like that. 112 180 whatever the hell it is I can't I can't remember it's been years since I've done any electrical work uh, but I do remember that you quite literally have to be within inches of for like low voltage stuff you have to be within inches in order for it to actually pick anything up actually let me see if I have my proximity tester close by to actually prove that to you um give me a second let me see okay so I found my good proximity tester it's a clean one and it came in this pack which means it is a very good one um I Actually, I gotta clean this up a little bit because I don't want these to get all fucked up. This pack together at Home Depot was... I bought it, it was a hundred... It was originally like a hundred bucks, hundred twelve bucks, something like that. And it was marked down to eighty dollars. I actually bought it last year, to, uh, right after Christmas, I do believe it was. And, um, so, yeah. 
like I said, it is a very, very good, uh, very good set. Saved my ass from getting zapped quite a few times. That's probably what the fuck's wrong with me is getting zapped all the time. Uh, but, um, like I said, with that being said, <coughs> this is what I wanted to show you guys. That you quite literally have to be. Now, I was picking up stuff right here, and there's nothing here. Nothing here. Like I said, there is an outlet right there. Nothing. At all. You quite literally have to... What the hell this one isn't even going to let me. Because of the way that these ones are. See. These ones are safety. Uh, they're, they're, they're made for safety. And you know what? I actually just seen... That the block that I have back here to plug in this little tree isn't even plugged in. Which is really strange to me because I had it plugged in earlier. Whenever I first came back here, that was on. You know what? I just thought about that. I don't know if I got that on camera or not. Whenever I first came back here, that that tree was on. And I didn't unplug that. I have that switch there. So I don't have to unplug it. But anyways, just to prove my point, there's nothing nothing now I will plug it in like I'm supposed to have it set up my fiance I think keeps unplugging that maybe but just to prove my point there you go so For that little proximity tester on my phone to pick up anything over towards the mirror, that should have never happened. That should have never happened with that not being plugged in. Um, so. That's a little bit trippy. I really wasn't expecting that. I can shut this off now. That's at 46 minutes. So, but again, that's a little bit trippy for my phone to pick up anything over there, like energy wise, because there was nothing plugged in at all, period. Um, and I actually thought it was plugged in the entire time. I didn't know that it wasn't. So that's a little bit disturbing right there. But again, this is a very good tester. As you can see, the light was extremely green. Um, these, for all the people that know how to use these, um, when the light is not so bright, like the, the green light is not so bright or the red light's not so bright. Hello? Babe, you still out there? Okay. My fiance woke up and she went back to sleep. And but I was I heard something out there. I'm still hearing shit out there. Um, 
Anyways, but again, for you people who know how to use those when <clears throat> the green light is not so, you know, the that when it's not bright, you know, it's going bad. And whenever it's showing that red light like that. Like whenever it's plugged into the wall and it's going beep, 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 beep. Um, yeah, whenever that's not bright, you know, the batteries are going dead. This, I actually just replaced the batteries in it. Um, I don't know, probably a month or so ago. And I haven't used it yet. This is actually the first time that I turned it on since I changed the batteries in it. Um... So, yeah, that's, uh, whoops, that was, that's a little bit crazy for that to pick up, or my phone, the proximity tester on my phone, or the proximity thing on my phone to be able to pick up anything when there's nothing there, there was nothing plugged in. Again, you see me literally plug that in, and again, I thought it was plugged in the entire time. Um, and now that I know that it wasn't plugged in, that just makes everything a little, that much more creepy, to say the least. So I can't wait to watch everything. Uh, as <clears throat> I've been doing, I've just been uploading all my videos to YouTube. I can care less if I catch anything or not. I just upload everything. Um, if I know that I caught something, I'm definitely going to upload it. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll put the thing, you know, I'll put the time stamp where it is. So you guys can actually go check, you know, straight to that if you don't want to watch the whole video. But I... On turn off. Why did you turn even turn back on? What the hell? My proximity tester turned on and it will not turn back off. Look at this. Okay, it finally turned off. That was fucking weird. I didn't even hit the button. It didn't even beep. That was fucking weird. All right. Maybe I should, like, change the battery and keep going, because there's some weird shit going on. I'm stopping, like, right whenever everything's, like, really getting... Shit's really getting busy, man. Anyways, it is a little after 4 in the morning. It's probably, like, 4.20 right now. At 4.20. Um, I'm kidding. I don't smoke, so... But, um... I'm going to grab a drink. I'm going to grab something to munch on. Yeah, I don't, I don't smoke weed, but I eat like I do. I've always done that, um, ever since I was a kid. <laughs> Hell, whenever I was a teenager, everybody thought I smoked weed like crazy. I tried it a few times. Just, every time I did, I got sick. I just, I just don't like it. Um, but, um, yeah, everybody thought that I, I smoked weed all the time, and I really don't. Really, I really didn't. Um, I just reason why is because I I was always munching. Um, I was always hungry. I just had a super high metabolism. I was always running around, always playing football. For people who have followed me on my other fate or my other um, YouTube, um, you would know that it's. Uh, you would see all my old football videos, uh, me and, uh, my, uh, I call him my brother. He's not really my brother. Again, you know, that's, that's another, another guy that, you know, blood couldn't make us any closer. Um, his, uh, thing is, is, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's Izzo the King. I-Z-Z-O, G-H-A. K-I-N-G, you know, Izzo the King. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what his his YouTube account is. 
Uh, and then my my old one, you know, it's it's in the it's in my bio thing, my description about me. Um, if you guys want to go check that out too, that's cool. It's it's a goofy. It's really my goofy, um, stupid YouTube. I actually have more followers on that one because I've had it since I was a teenager. Um, I, I back in the day I used to have, um, I used to have a lot more subscribers back in the day, um, and then I stopped posting on that. Because I just completely forgot the, like, the password and all that stuff. And I made a new one. And not realizing that I was, wasn't using my, my old YouTube. Which was kind of funny. And then I realized that I wasn't using my old one about a month ago. And... I figured out my password, my, my, uh, the account, or the, you know, the email that I used, I figured all that out, so I'm posting on that one again, um, I'm posting just funny videos on that, um, for everybody who, you know, actually wants to check it out, it's nothing but farting videos, it's, it's, it's stupid, but it's something that I've done since I was a teenager, and, you know, it's just something to get a laugh out of people. You know, if people don't like it, fuck it, I don't really care. It is it is what it is. If you don't like it, don't go look at it. But if you like stupid, goofy shit, <laughs> go check it out. So, but, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. I'm going to, again, post all these videos as, an, as a whole, as I'm doing with everything now. Um... Just to see, you know, if everybody wants to check it out or watch it to see if I caught anything. If you guys are interested in shit, by all means, do it. Um, if you guys are, are liking everything, um, you know, if you guys are enjoying anything, you know, make sure you guys are liking and subscribing to it. Uh to my channel, uh, share my stuff if you want to, if not, it is what it is, um, again, I'm, I'm on, I'm on here, so uh, I'm on this one just to, you know, it's my more serious, my, my, my more serious YouTube, you know, because of this mirror, um, and I obviously I grew up, but if you want to see me again, <clears throat> still be stupid and act like a kid, I'm 31 years old. I'm going to be 32 in June, but you, you, you are how, how you act or your, your, your age, uh, it, it reflects on how you act. And I mean, again, I'm, I'm 31, I'm going to be 32, but I still act like I'm 15, 16 sometimes. Um, you know, and it keeps, it keeps you young at heart. And that's basically what I'm trying to do. Uh, as everybody knows, I, I came close to death twice, twice this year. Um, it's no joke. Uh, this, this coronavirus shit is no joke. Now, I did not have, I did not have the virus, as everybody says. Um, you know, I kind of think that I possibly may have had it. Yeah, but my doctor said I didn't. The, uh, the, um, uh, antivirus, or the, not the antivirus, the antibody test says I didn't have it, 
but again I kind of think that I had it or had maybe not the full maybe not the full virus but I definitely had something like it hold on I gotta turn the hallway light on because my fiance decided to shut it off even though she knew that I had to walk down the hallway but um basically still make stupid videos like that just to just to try to stay young just to try to stay happy um well not try to stay happy i mean i am happy my fiance makes me happy every day but, um you know just trying to just trying to stay a kid man um just getting old sucks uh you know, you gotta, you gotta do shit that, you know, keeps, keeps you happy and stuff. Um, I mean, how I, a couple years ago, I weighed, well, actually, just last year, literally, j just last year, I weighed, um, I weighed about 160 pounds, and, um, this year, right now, I'm at two two fifteen. So, and that's because I got sick. I lost a bunch of weight. I was, I went from like one seven, one sixty, one seventy down to one fifteen, and then I went from one fifteen. I'm again. I'm up to two fifteen right now. Two, two twelve, two fifteen, somewhere around there, and. Um, I started working out again, you know, now that I feel a little bit better, now that I'm getting, you know, my health back to kind of where it was. So, um, like I said, I've been working out, trying to get my, you know, trying to get my endurance back up, trying to get my breathing back to where it was supposed to be. Um, because this summer I'd like to play football again. Um, Last summer I couldn't do anything because I was, I was quite literally on my deathbed for the, pretty much the entire summer. So, um, you know, this summer I would like to get back out there. I would like to play football again. You know, I'd like to go play basketball again. I missed out on a lot of stuff this summer. Um, A, because of the coronavirus. I was afraid to, to go out and do anything because of the virus because of uh the underlying conditions that I that I do have um but um you know I would definitely like to I'm definitely trying to get my life past that uh and continue continue on with uh what what I love to do which is essentially playing football um I really I really lost uh, I started to lose a lot of hope, you know, for, for a while there. Um, you know, I, I, whenever I went to the hospital the second time, I, um, I didn't think I was going to make it. The doctor literally told me if, if I didn't make it whenever I, you know, make it to the hospital or if the EMTs didn't make it to the house, Whenever they did, I, I wouldn't be here. Yeah, I'd be, my family would have been singing a different tune, you know, so, um, as, as obviously, you know, Thanksgiving just passed and, um, you know, this year was a little, it was a little bit more emotional this year than it, you, you know, usually is and, um, you know, that's, that's how Christmas is, is going to be too, um. You know, with Christmas literally two weeks away, um, well, less than two weeks away now, I, um, you know, I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit more, you know, a little bit more emotional, you know, knowing that, you know, it, I may not, you know, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have been here. Um, 
uh, you know, with, with how close I came to not being here, you know, it, it, it definitely, definitely weighs on you a little bit, um, for anybody who actually went through, you know, uh, like a near death thing, um, you know, the, you know, I mean, uh, they said on my way to the hospital that my, because they obviously, they hook you up to monitors and stuff inside of the, uh, inside the back of the ambulance and stuff. And the guy said that my pulse rate and my heart rate went so low that it was almost not reading. Um, though he said my heart rate did drop so low that it didn't read. It actually said that I flatlined for 10 seconds or so. Um, and he started freaking out. He actually started giving me, CP, you know, doing the chest things. And I kind of looked up at him. That's whenever I really came to. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing pushing on my chest like that? I'm like, I can barely breathe and you're pushing on my chest. And that's whenever he told me that I flatlined. And I never told my fiance that. So I never told anybody that. So shh. <laughs> But, um, alright guys, I'm, I'm gonna head out, um, so, again, good night, stay safe, God bless.